second speaker tonight is the daughter of migrant farm workers who grew up in Bakersfield. She's the only one of the five children in her family with a college education. She said that she loves teaching, she loves learning, and she loves creating. And we're grateful to have Olivia Patino from Mint Canyon Elementary School speak to us this evening. This definitely look, looks different than standing in front of a group of third graders. <laughs> okay, I'd like to start out by thanking the Santa Clarita Valley Education Foundation for inviting me to represent the Sulphur Springs School District at this year's teacher tribute event. When I heard that this year's theme was teachers are the essential piece, I couldn't help but think of a puzzle. No two puzzles are alike, just as no two learners are alike. Students come to us from very diverse backgrounds. They bring their unique talents and experiences to the classroom. Teachers are the essential piece because it is our obligation to bridge the gap between their realities and their academic success. Sometimes these gaps are minor, but oftentimes they are not. Nonetheless, we must assess their needs and abilities and move them forward successfully. I know firsthand the challenges of learning to be successful in school. English was not my first language, nor my family's dominant language. As a daughter of a migrant worker in the San Joaquin Valley, I sowed many, many seeds and helped harvest many crops. I brought much to the classroom, but needed teachers to help me connect my experiences with an academic career. I was the only one, as he mentioned, of five who graduated from the university and pursue a profession. Now, as a teacher, I have the opportunity to be the essential piece for the success of my own, my own students in two key areas. First, as a peer professional, and second, as a teacher within my own classroom. As peer professionals, or as peer teachers, we serve on site level committees, district wide committees, bits of support providers, and as university level professionals dedicated to the preparation of our future educators. We are essential in this area because we share our personal experiences and expertise with today's educators and those of tomorrow. We enable future teachers and our peers to, be, to better address our students' needs. My school is one of nine elementary schools in the district, and like many other, other schools today, is very diverse. The social, linguistic, and economic realities of our population enter our classrooms every day and shape how we must teach. If we are not able to connect and teach our students, they are lock, likely not able to find that extra support at home. Not for the lack of caring. That is not the case at all. I can count on one hand when my parents went to my school when I was a child. It wasn't because they didn't care. They were busy working the fields to provide food and shelter for their children. They felt it wasn't their place. They were not comfortable going to school. And then there was a language barrier, among other variables. They made sure I had a place to do my homework, but they did not have the skills to help me. That is why, as educators, we must connect with our children and be that essential piece in our classrooms every day. So what does an essential piece look like? Well, just like any puzzle, an essential piece may take, the, um, take many shapes in order to complete the connection. I have learned that in order to be good at this profession, you need to put your ego aside and be prepared to make a fool of yourself. Our motto at Mint Canyon School is, whatever it takes. The essential piece for connecting to instruction may take the form of music, dance, drama, manipulatives, or visual aids. We sing songs with less than perfect voices because research shows that it stimulates the brain, brain's dendrites to learn. Then we go home with these silly so songs stuck in our brains and sing them to our families. 
Teachers need to know so many things in today's educational arena. We've come a long way from the Little Red Schoolhouse. Today's teacher needs to know all the grade level standards in reading, writing, math, science, social studies, health, PE. We need to know the drug program, as well as be a nurse, a psychologist, a referee, a negotiator. We need to know how to toggle between the digital camera and the computer, run the smart board, access web-based programs, and then we need to be more entertaining than direct TV with 350 channels. Okay. <laughs> and on top of all that, we need to stay abreast of all the current brain research in order to help our students learn best. One of the things I've learned over the years from brain research is that crossing that midline integrates both hemispheres of the brain, and it promotes better learning. So now we are including the new puzzle piece for stimulating our instruction. It not only wakes up our students' brains, but it also brings joy and laughter into the classroom. Many times in the morning, I look into the sea a little sleepy, blank faces staring back at me. Even then, first thing in the morning, these children need a brain break. Or maybe I should call it a brain surge. It is at this time that I say to them, okay, my little critters, it looks like you need to get your dendrites, your neurons, your neutrons, and your croutons fired up. Okay. Okay. In fact, I can see many of you fading away here in the front, dozing off as I, feed, as I speak. So let me illustrate the effects of a brain break. Please humor me. We're gonna, please humor me, I'm gonna have you stand up at your seat, and I will model the song and gestures first, then I will guide you through it a second time. Now bear in mind, I demand and reward audience participation. Okay. See if we can make this work. Okay, please stand. It, okay, thank you for the lights, and I can see that they're paying attention. <laughs> Okay. okay, those of you guys who know this song, you're welcome to join me the first time around. Okay, it's Wadaliacha. Okay, Wadaliacha, Wadaliacha, doodly do, doodly do, Wadaliacha, Wadaliacha, doodly do, doodly do. Simplest thing, there isn't much to it. All you got to do is doodly do it. I like the rest, but the part I like best goes doodly, doodly, do, do. All together now. You ready? <laughs> okay. Wadali acha, wadali acha, doodly do, doodly do. Wadali acha, wadali acha, doodly do, doodly do. Simplest thing, there isn't much to it. All you got to do is doodly do it. I like the rest, but the part I like best goes doodly doodly do do. For you gifted out there, double time. Wally acha, wally acha. <laughs> you may have a seat. <laughs> okay. Okay, and that was an eff the effects of a brain break. You are all now awake, right? You guys over here, you guys did a fanta fantastic job. Up there, you awesome, give your brain a kiss. Okay, and over here, you guys are superstars. <laughs> okay, as I mentioned earlier, we do whatever it takes. Teachers are essential in assisting their students to master the necessary academic and standards for success in, ed in education. But we also are an essential piece in modeling fairness, honesty, and responsibility. These are not character traits that are standard-driven, but they are a vital part of developing productive young people. Lastly, we are called upon to provide an essential emotional piece for students who are de dealing with difficult family issues. It is very common to have students dealing with child abuse, custody battles, and being brought up by their grandparents. In spite of any turmoil going on at home, they are expected to learn. That is why we make sure that our classrooms reflect a safe, nurturing environment. After all, our students spend more awake time 
at school than they do at home. In summary, teachers are essential in piecing together whatever little puzzles walk through the door. In one way, we are very lucky that our profession is never dull, predictable, or stagnant. Our students keep us on our toes. I feel very fortunate to be a part of a profession where I am still sowing seeds and providing all the essential pieces that will sprout knowledge, curiosity, and a love for learning in our children today. Thank you.